Hello and welcome team. Today we're going to be fixing an Astro PS4 controller. Uh, this is the model number GR. GR0004. And some supplies that you will need are solder, solder paste solder braid, solder station, and replacement analog because our left stick here tends to drift, which is quite common. So we're gonna get started on that. All right, so I initially, at first glance, thought maybe taking these off to get to the back, but no, they designed this in such a way that you just take these torque screws out, these here and here. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And this front place will come off because these controllers are modular. <clears throat> Terrible camera work. this faceplate and that modular piece comes right out so we now we move our controller to the side we look at our connectors here we got three on this side three on this side these two here the one above it these here and this one and they're all the same on here so yeah we just uh desolder the okay, first thing we want to do remove these two torque screws right here okay take it apart and there's your old one they look pretty similar same pieces and all so we're gonna turn this upside down I guess that's what the issue is It's kind of hot, obviously, but this one right here, that's what you want a clean solder point to look like. Hey guys, so I finally got the old module out of there. That's what it should look like. Get it cleaned up. By the way, hematite is good to keep on the table when you're working on electronics. There are precious metals and minerals in electronics. And sometimes if your energy is off, it can make the project that you're working on not function properly. So... I keep hematite around to ground any negative energies and uh, for, for strength and stability and good technological working. It's, I guess it's kind of a Batman thing, just like the iron heart, the steel heart, the heart of metal. We uh, work on all this. The inventor should definitely like hematite for protection and strength. So, we get our new module put in there. And everything. 
everything should go in kind of flush. Show all our solder points. And now we just solder the new one in there. So I'm going to get started on that. And again, I like this thing. Sometimes clean up any excess with a little bit of solder bread. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. And we'll take some rubbing alcohol, which is scarce right now. All right, now we're going to clean up our PCB board with a bit of rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip to clean any of the excess flux off of there. Pretty good. We'll take this, put our thumb cap back on it. We have a little bit too much solder on some of these points. some of this excess solder off of here. Good to go. I'm going to put this faceplate back on. 